today is just a regular routine check. We're not really doing anything specific. It'll be the first check since we installed the Apivar treatment for the mites. And so we'll see how that's going. Um, but we also moved them yesterday morning. So between those two changes, I don't think they'll be hot today. But I wouldn't be surprised if they're a bit of a warmer hive as far as their behavior goes because of all the changes. So if so, fair enough. I have a pond now in case they want to take a sip. Got a little garden starting and there's things coming up. It's exciting. It's going to look better after a while. That's it, right? Well, I'm waiting on Timothy to fuss with the smoker. We just have to have some native bee appreciation over here. Look at them go. <laughs> Little bumblebee. Probably need some more syrup. Bone dry, not even any bees trying to get a last sip. Sorry guys. We'll fix that. So this is the newest um, deep that we had put on top. The original one, there's already some propolis action happening up here. Still probably not much built out on the frames if I had to guess, but we'll see. These are just a little ape of our strips. So this fourth frame from the edge is where they're really finally starting to draw out the wax to make some comb. The rest of them are pretty uneventful. Um, ooh, this one's really stuck. You thought it was heavy, yeah, but it was stuck. No, it's not, I didn't think it was heavy. The queen is on it. Oh, <gasps> that's so good. That means she's gonna be able to use it to lay brood and we hopefully, cause I was kind of worried that if the queen didn't want to travel up, then we wouldn't get brood and they would start wanting to swarm despite our efforts. But we got a little nectar on this too. So good. I'm very happy to see that. I'd like to see if we could see eggs today. I think that'd be cool. Okay, I'm gonna try and angle it so that you can hopefully see it. But you can see eggs down in the cells, which is pretty exciting. Proof that our queen's laying just fine. Sorry, I'm just trying to make sure and tilt it <laughs> in a way that you should be able to yeah. see it on the video. Hang out right there. Can you see him? Yep. Nice. So that's pretty cool. It's something we really hadn't been trying to show on the video too much but it's good to know that she's laying we don't have any laying workers that you can see because that's usually like just a bunch of eggs scattered haphazardly so pretty exciting to see since it's stuck I'm gonna just keep pushing it that way until it feels like it's broken free that way I'm not like jostling it so much pulling it up but yeah, it's not stuck as far as edge to edge with these frames. It's stuck because they're building a lot of ladder comb or burr comb between the two right, deeps. Free. Which um, we'll scrape that up from the uh, from the top bars of the bottom brood box. I've seen some drone comb the last few inspections, but I haven't noticed any drones crawling around. You can see the pollen inside of some of those. Oh yeah, it's pretty cool. I like the deep orange pollen. And the ones that are filled with kind of a greenish color. I think those are pretty. Okay, and we got less activity on this one. So mainly those center two to three frames are where they're getting the most work done and they're still working on the rest. I'm just really glad to see that we've got 
brood in the process on this newest deep. Look at them go! This is our original deep that we started the hive in. I'm gonna give them a little smoke and then try to scrape some of this away. Everybody's awake now. I don't know if we explained it in the other video, the idea behind our hive placement. Part of it was we wanted to move it out of the front yard, but um, we're kind of experimenting. We're not like married to this spot or anything, but the sun comes up over the tree line there, hits the hive, so they should get the early morning sun so that they'll come on out and start foraging. Um, and go ahead and warm up for the day. And then we've got some trees that offer some canopy over here that should cast a little bit of shade on the side of the box and maybe offer refuge from the more harsh evening sun as it's setting. Um, but we may move it, it just depends on how it goes. But we're trying to give them a little bit of the best of both worlds. We've got one have beetle in this trap that's like disintegrating. That might be the way. same one that was there last check because we, we didn't actually take the beetle out. Um, I didn't really see much of a point to that. And there's nothing in this one again. It's pretty promising. So if you want to set that down. I'm going to go ahead and take our ape of our strips out. Now it's, I probably shouldn't be touching this, but it'll be okay. I'll wash my hands. And if I get something, uh... You won't have any Varroa mites? Yeah, I won't have Varroa mites. Maybe I'll get some kind of cool superpower. I think that this one is stuck in the combs. So... Uh. <laughs> yeah. Um kind of expecting some of these outer frames to be a little more filled out since they've really started moving up into the box above it. But not so much. We might, um, maybe we'll decide to move some of these frames closer to the center so that we'll just go ahead and knock them out. Yeah. Shift them around a bit. <laughs> this one feels heftier. Yeah, because there's plenty of uh, capped brood and honey on it. Oh nice! That's a really pretty frame. Beautiful stuff. That's what I want to see. The other side's just drawn out foam with some nectar. Nothing super eventful. So my side's got a bunch of capped brood and honey, which looks like success. What's that side got? I can't really see. Um, kind of more of the same. Uh... There's capped honey near the top. Um, the cells on the other side definitely don't look like this. Um, it looks a little more wonky, but you know, maybe the queen just wasn't good at that yet. <laughs> if that's a thing, I don't know. Here's one of our foundationless frames. Lots of capped brood, can't complain. So the capped brood is this lighter stuff here. Um, more capped brood, which is again that lighter, more flat cap cell, and then you can see larvae developing in these cells. They kind of look like spaghettios to me. Got capped brood, capped honey. There's one of the capped brood ones that look like the bees gonna emerge soon. It's 
they'll chew their way out. What about that side? So it looks like maybe there's some capped honey in the corner, but mostly like this is uh, brewed. I felt like a poke, but I didn't get stung. <laughs> it probably was just walking. It just startled me. Okay, so this one's a good one for different stuff. So this is the cap brood. Again, there's those cap cells that are more flat. Um, but you, well, the bees moved in front of it. I was gonna say I can show off some drone comb. Okay, there, there we go. So these cells that are more rounded on the top are the drones, although they do have some play cups in there, um, which are those with the big holes that are oriented differently. So I don't know if that behavior is gonna calm down now that we've added the other deep or not. Can you get that piece of comb? I'm sorry. Um, but yep, those are the drone cells that are more raised like that. Alright. This is a good looking frame. Brood and capped honey over here. Same. Oh, look at that spread of bees. There's Shh. a lot of brood over Should here. Should we try to uh, do something about that? Or just let it be? So show where the capped honey is. Uh, that's the capped honey. It's a lot more white in color, whereas the yeah. capped brood is more of that off yellow this color. This is the capped brood. And those are just bees. <laughs> right there. Lots of capped honey, capped brood. They're just drawing calm on this side, not really much going on, so. We'll probably rearrange so that maybe this one ends up in the middle. I think I'm just gonna flip it like this. Oh yeah, that side looks pretty good. Um, kind of hard to do this a little. So now we're trying to just rearrange some of these so that the uh, the more filled-in frames are closer to the edge, and our empty frames are closer to the middle. All right, so we just rearranged um, some of the frames so that the more filled out ones are on the edge, like we just said. And unfortunately, since the comb is wonky on some of those foundationless frames, it meant a squeeze in a place it's not normally going. So some of that capped honey and nectar was released, but they'll do a good job cleaning it up. So I'm not worried about it. Whoops. We finished the inspection and have the hive back together, cleaned up the feeder, topped it off, and closing it up for the day. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. We gotta put this back in the brood box. We're good at this, we told you. I'm actually done for real this time. I've got the ape of R back in place. Closing it up. So we think that the hive at this point is in a place where it doesn't make much sense for us to continue to do weekly videos as we do our inspections, mostly because we don't expect too much to change. We already have our mite treatment in place. We've got the second brood box in place. We'll continue to watch out for any pests and um, if any other problem comes up that we have to address, then of course we'll probably do some kind of video on that. But I don't really see it being uh, necessary for us to, you know, each week make a video of us pulling out and looking at every single frame and then putting it back only to see pretty much the same thing just on more frames. So, you know, if we come across any kind of cool milestones or if we run into problems we'll make a, a video on that and how we address things and so on but uh, I think we're in a good place now the hive looks healthy we'll just keep doing what we're doing